we are from Atman Tuition. In this video, we are going to see few examples on how to find a pair of integers based on the given question. Our first question is, write down a pair of integers whose sum is negative 7. So, we want to find two integers such that if you add, that is sum, two integers, your result should be negative 7. So, I have taken negative 14 plus 7 are the two integers. So, I am adding this. So, negative 14 plus positive 7. Okay. So, now in this case, first we have to take the sign of the greater number. So, greater number is 14. So, I have taken the sign of 14 that is negative. Then we have to subtract two numbers. So, 14 minus 7 is 7. So, the answer is negative 7. So, the number I have taken is 0 is one integer plus negative 7 is the other integer. So, if you add 0 and negative 7, our answer will be negative 7. Next question is, write down a pair of integers whose difference is negative 10. So, here difference means you have to subtract the two integers. So, now I have taken one integer as negative 5 and the other integer as positive 5. So, if I subtract negative 5 minus positive 5, then my result will be negative 10. Then I have taken one more integer. So, 0 subtract 10. So, 0 minus 10 is negative 10. The other number is negative 3 minus positive 7. So, negative 3 minus 7. So, you will get negative 10. Next is you want to find pair of integers such that their sum is 0. So, negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So, any number added with its additive inverse will give the result as 0. Next question is, write a pair of negative integers whose difference gives 8. So, you want to write two negative integers such that if you subtract those two integers, our answer should be positive 8. So, I have taken negative 16 difference. So, I am subtracted negative 24. So, here it is negative 16, this positive, negative and negative will become positive. So, negative 16 plus 24 will be positive 8. Next number I have taken is negative 24. So, difference so minus negative 32. So, here it is negative 24, this minus and negative will become plus 32. So, if you do this, our answer will be 8. So, next question is write a negative integer and a positive integer whose sum is negative 5. So, you want to write one negative integer and one positive integer and if you add those two integers, your answer should be negative 5. So, here I have taken negative 10, it is a negative integer, then sum. So, I have added it, one positive integer, so I have taken plus 5. So, if you add this, so negative 10 plus into plus is plus, so 5. So, negative 10 plus 5 will be negative 5. So, similarly, negative 15 plus plus 10, that is positive 10. So, that will be negative 15 plus 10, that will be negative 5. Next question is, write a negative integer and a positive integer whose difference is negative 3. So, we want to take one negative integer and one positive integer and if you subtract it, your difference should be negative 3. That is, answer should be negative 3. So, here I have taken negative 2. So, it is a negative integer. Then they have asked the difference. So, I have subtracted. And we want to take one positive integer. So, I have taken plus 1. So, negative 2 minus positive 1. So, here minus and this positive will be negative. So, negative 2 minus 1 which is equal to negative 3. Next question, in a quiz, team A scored negative 40, 10, 0 and team B scored 10, 0 and negative 40 in 3 successive rounds. Which team scored more? Can we say that we can add integers in any order? So, solution, let us see first what is given. So, the in 3 successive rounds, the scores of team A is negative 40, 10 and 0 and the score of team B is 10, 0 and negative 40. So, what we want to find? 
which team has scored more points and can we say that we can add integers in any order so to find which team scored more we want to add the scores of team a and team b now the total score of team a is we have to add all so first one is negative 40 okay plus 10 plus 0 so first negative 40 plus 10 is negative 30 plus 0 so that will be negative 30 now we will find the total score of team b so team b is 0 plus 10 plus negative 40 so 10 plus 0 is 10 minus 40 because plus and this negative will be minus so minus 40 so 10 minus 40 is negative 30 so total score of team a is negative 30 and total score of team b is also negative 30 so both the teams have scored equal so we observe that scores obtained by both the teams are numerically equal but their order of scores is different so hence we can add integers in any order next question is fill in the blanks to make the following statements true so first question is negative 5 plus negative 8 equal to negative 8 plus blank so we want to find answer for this blank so if you take left hand side it is negative 5 then this plus and negative will become minus so negative 5 minus 8 so minus is common i have taken out and i have added 5 plus 8 that is 13 so now we know that addition of integers is commutative so LHS is negative 13 so RHS should also be negative 13 but it's given already negative 8 so since it's commutative we can write in the blank as negative 5 that is negative 5 plus negative 8 is equal to negative 8 plus negative 5 the next question is negative 53 plus blank equal to negative 53 so what number added with negative 53 will give you the same number so we know that integer plus additive identity is equal to the same integer so where 0 is the additive identity therefore negative 53 plus 0 is equal to negative 53 next question is 17 plus dash is equal to 0 so what number added with 17 will give you 0 so we know that integer plus additive inverse is equal to 0 where additive inverse is the inverse that is negative of the same integer so therefore the additive inverse of 17 is negative 17 so 17 plus negative 17 is equal to 0 next question is 13 plus minus 12 plus blank equal to 13 plus minus 12 plus negative 7. So we know that addition of integers is associated that is a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. So if you see the question only the negative 7 is missing. So 13 plus negative 12 plus negative 7 is equal to 13 plus negative 12 plus negative 7. 7. Next question is negative 4 plus 15 plus negative 3 equal to negative 4 plus 15 plus blank. So previously we have done say addition is of integers is associated. Same concept we are using here. So a plus b plus c equal to a plus b plus c. So here the missing number is negative 3. Hope you have understood how to find the pair of integers based on the given question and also the addition of integers is associated one commutative with